I'm excited to show you the Concord Contract Lifecycle Management Tool. Concord is a cloud-based solution that is hosted by AWS, and we have the highest levels of security within Concord because we're dealing with your company's most sensitive documents. I'm going to go ahead and log into the Concord system. And the first thing that you'll see when I log in is called our contract inbox. The inbox is going to be where all of your recent contracts are kept that you're working on or the contracts that matter to you. Each user in the system will see their own contracts here. From this view, I can see the stage or status the contract is in, who the contract is with, the titles, modified dates, etc. And this is actually all customizable. So if you wanted to move this data around, you could, and you can really customize it based on your needs. One thing you'll notice here is that our inbox looks a lot like a Gmail inbox. This was intentional. We wanted to make something that was very easy to use and understand for anybody that comes in and uses our platform. One thing that this really helps with is the implementation process. You don't have to spend a lot of time training or learning our system. Our typical implementation can be as fast as two weeks uh, for the entire company, just because of how easy it is to set up and use our solution. Another nice thing that you'll notice here are the stages of the contract. So each stage, each contract, as it goes through its life cycle, the stage will automatically update. So you'll know exactly where the contract is throughout the entire life cycle of the agreement. I now want to jump in and show you a few ways to actually create contracts in Concord. The first option we have here is the ability to create a new document to sign. That's typically going to be used if you want to bring in a contract from outside of Concord, let's say a third party paper. So they send you their NDA or their purchase agreement. You want to take that Word doc or PDF and upload it into the system. You would do that through new document to sign. You can also create a new template here by, by uploading existing Word or PDF document, or you could simply draft the template with Concord's built-in Word editor. And last of all, you can add an executed document. So if you want to bring in a contract that's already been signed, you can go ahead and sign, you know, bring that in from outside of the tool, whether that be signed through another e-signature provider or a wet signature, you can upload that so you can manage the contract in Concord going forward. I'm now going to walk you through a contract creation and we're going to do that from a template. One of the things that people really like about this template is the ability to create and add a workflow at this point in the process. So these workflows allow you to make sure that everyone that needs to see the contract before the contract be si can be signed uh, will be able to do that. You have two different types of workflows. A company workflow is a predetermined workflow that has been set up by your company's admins or users. And these could be based on a number of different factors. Maybe you have one for a sales team or a legal team or an HR team, um, or maybe they're based on specific data within the contract itself. Like for example, contracts over a certain dollar amount or contracts with certain provisions or clauses. You can also set up custom workflows here as well. So if you wanted to do a one-off situation that maybe doesn't come up all the time, you could go ahead and add a custom workflow to the agreement. The point of this is just making sure that all the eyes that need to see the contract um, are able to do that and approve it before the contract can be finalized. I'm now going to turn this template into a draft. In order to do so, I'm going to simply click the Use button because I then want to share this out to my third party. So as you can see here, I now have a draft of my agreement. Um, a couple nice things about this view, we do have a discussion panel. So if I wanted to share this out to one of my internal team members to have them review the contract with me before we send it to a third party, we could actually have that discussion internally um, right inside the platform. At this point though, I wanna go ahead and send this out to my third party. So I'm gonna put in their email address here and I can also choose what edit rights I want to allow them to have. So full edit rights means they can come in and actually make changes right inside the agreement. Limited means they can only fill out required fields, which are fields that we can put into the contract. And no edit rights means they can just see the contract and sign it. When I click send here, an email will be sent to them with a link into the agreement. All that my third party has to do is click on that link and that takes them right into the contract. Now, if we had kicked off the approval workflow, which we just did, 
it would look like this in the system. And so now that approver will have the option to come in and you know approve or reject. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that for now, just to make this easier. So at this point in the process, my third party has received a link to the contract. They can come in and review this agreement with me. Let's say that they wanted to come in and actually make a few changes. The nice thing about this process is I can turn on track changes right inside the system. No need to download this into Word or take it into another system. We can actually redline this and add comments inside of Concord. And the commenting has two different options. You can either make this a public comment, meaning your third parties would see this, or you can make this an internal comment, which is only visible by people from your company. So I've got my comments here, I've got my red lines, and I'll go ahead and save this. One thing to point out that's happening behind the scenes is we do have a lot of data that's actually being tracked. So we have our audit trail. This is gonna track a nice overview of everything that's happening within the agreement, any changes that are being made. This is our comment section. So this shows what's been deleted or added or what comments have been made here as well inside the document. And then we've also got a version history. So the version history is gonna show us what's changed version to version. And it's also gonna give us the option to even jump back to previous versions or restore previous versions if we wanted to. So now that we're ready to go ahead and get this contract signed, we've negotiated this with our third party. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean the document of any pending changes. And then at that point, we can sign and execute the agreement. So here is our e-signature. I can go ahead and sign that. Uh, the e-signature is our own built-in solution. It is unlimited and included with all of our plans. So you can do as many e-signatures through the system as you need to. Um, there's no additional cost for that at all. So that's the process of contract creation, negotiation, and e-signature. I now wanna walk you through the process of actually managing our contracts once they're in the system. So I'm gonna jump into an agreement here that's already been signed and is currently active. And I'm gonna to go to our summary sheet. The summary sheet is where all the important metadata about the contract lives. This data can be filled out from the very beginning of the contract. You don't have to wait until it's already signed. And so this metadata would be things like who the contract is with, the description and tags. The tags are how we organize contracts in the system. You've also got the ability to link things together. So if I wanted to add a link for a specific clause um, or a specific amendment, I could do that here. So let's say that we have a contract signed today, six months from now, there's an amendment, and I wanna show that relationship here in the system. I can go ahead and just you know, put that link in there, and that way whenever I come into that agreement, I'll be able to see that link very easily. The next thing that we have is our lifecycle information. So things like when the contract was signed, the effective date, termination notices, renewals. And based on the data that I put in here, Concord will automatically send deadline alerts to any of the users on this contract via email. So that way you never miss one of your key deadlines again, and you'll be notified uh, well ahead of time to make sure that you either cancel that, renew it, or even renegotiate the agreement. Below that, we have our custom data fields. If there are additional fields that you wanna keep track of in the contract, you can go ahead and enter those here. And then we also have our clause section. So this is where you would keep additional terms or clauses on the agreement. Maybe this has to do with you know, things like indemnity clauses or limitations of liability. It's also a place where you can put additional deadline alerts in. So maybe you have a deadline for when a payment is due or an invoice or a project deadline. Those are the types of things you could put here as well. And actually with Concord, you can have unlimited deadline alerts in a single contract. And then one other thing that you would use this section for is our financial terms and conditions. So things like total contract value, uh, payments due, and you could do either what's to be paid or collected, and you can do a dollar amounts or percentages. So that's how we manage our signed contracts in the system. I now wanna focus on the last couple things here. Um, one of them being our global search. So the global search is nice because it allows you to actually search through all the contracts that are in your Concord platform. This works in conjunction with our built-in OCR technology. So that means if you have a scanned image that you wanna upload into Concord, maybe one of your old contracts, 
It'll automatically OCR your contract and convert it to searchable text format. You can also search for anything within the document, keywords, phrases, um, and it's going to rank those based on relativity, and so you can find what you're looking for very quickly. The way that we organize contracts in the system is through tagging. It's a lot like a folder structure. So here you have your main tags and your sub tags. Most of our companies actually manage their contracts based on department, contract type, or location. Um, and this is something that we have a great team that can help with as far as best practices go. Um, but the tagging is nice. It helps with giving access to different documents in the system and restricting access. So we call those document access rights. It also helps with reporting and it helps us to find things very quickly in the system. A couple last things, we do have our deadline alert. So if you wanted to see any upcoming deadlines in the platform, we have one very nice place to see that. And we've also got an analytics dashboard. So this is nice for being able to tell what contracts, um, what the life, lifeblood or kind of the overall uh, feel or view of contracts in your company is. And I can see, for example, how many total contracts have been signed, the status of your contracts over time, how many contracts were signed, and then you can also see things like deadlines. So if I want to visualize what my upcoming deadlines were in one place to help to forecast that out, I can see that here in the system as well. So that's a quick overview of the contract, uh, the Concord Contract Lifecycle Management Tool. We would be happy to talk to you more about this uh, with one of our sales reps. And uh, thank you for taking the time to look at it.